All right, this was um, because the arrow came out, it went through the diaphragm. He's got a little gas buildup, and you can see some blood in the abdominal wall, the, just the abdominal cavity. I just kind of re relieved the pressure on that. But your tenderloin lays right in here, all right? This is probably the most tricky part of the gutless method on getting this piece of meat out because you've got to enter the abdominal wall. See, right there? That's intestine. You're so darn close to getting at the intestine, all right? So push with your left hand and you can see where the edge of the bone is. Just push with your left hand, come down along the edge of that bone and free that up. Okay, you can see it's got a lot of fat in there, which is good. Come down along it. There's your tenderloin. Now you can see it. That's that's your tenderloin. All right. It's one of the best cuts of meat there is. Oh yeah, awesome. If you relieve it, now I'm not suggesting you poke a hole in the stomach, but if you can just relieve some of that pressure from the abdominal wall, it helps. And really, this is not attached to anything except the two points and a couple spots in between. So you literally can just grab your hand and pull. Get that out of the way. Grab your hand in there and just pull and free that stuff up. You can see I have not entered into that. That's the, that's the stomach wall lining. I have not perforated that yet. Okay? Don't want to. The tricky part, this is, oh, this is all fat. Good, 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 good. Tricky part is being right-handed and trying to use your left hand. There we go. Free that up. Boom, boom. Nice. There we go. All right, so you're just going to want to keep this put. This is much easier than the other one. The other one, I, I should have vented him a little bit earlier. This is a lot better than the other one, actually. So there's your, there's your, get this out of the way. Oops. There's your tenderloin right there. And make sure you get both. There's two pieces. There's two parts. Get no, that out of there. <laughs> pay no attention to the... <laughs> so, your tenderloin comes up in there. And it actually goes a lot farther than people think. I really do try to get it all. So I'm going to reach up in here with a knife and try to free up this end. Gently. You're cutting against that bone. Yep. Okay. And then, come down here. There we go. Come on. Come off. You can almost pull it out with your hand. You can't... Uh, almost. And, but... I will stress almost, I've seen people do it. The problem is, is that piece of meat is so tender, it is so fragile, that if you don't grab it just right, you can just shred it. It'll just turn to just shreds of meat in your hand. So I really just don't like pulling it out. I'm not, I'll be honest, I'm not good enough to pull it out with my hands in one piece. I end up just shredding it and it just, ugh, makes me sad. Makes me sad. Such a good piece of meat. So, I'm just going to keep working my way down. And again, if you got a buddy that is there to help you, this makes it a world of difference better. Get back in there. Obviously, be careful of your hand. Come on. Come on right there. And you'll feel the little tendons and ligaments in there that are holding it in place. Just reach the point of your knife down in there and just kind of free it up. But yeah, I mean, the thing just lays right inside. There we go. Now you can see, once you get the end off, just keep following that bone. Everybody keep pulling it. Boom, boom, boom. you be able to see that, Jay? Mm hmm All right, perfect. Okay, keep, again, keep your knife control. Don't let your knife, your pointy knife get in there. But just keep pulling it back. Just freeing it up. Rest your back. Oh. All right, almost out. And the 
this is where it, the insertion point, so you gotta cut that off. And boom. Nice, you can even get rid of that little piece of, but we can trim that off later if you want. Yeah, leave it, because you got some meat on it. Boom, chunk of tenderloin. Done, and you never even had to go inside the stomach at all. All right, and in this case, again, because the arrow came out, it went through the diaphragm and it went out his liver and, and kind of hit some of his paunch. If you had to gut this animal, it'd be nasty, nasty. I mean, it stinks enough already just because we vented it, the, the, the chest cavity here. Ugh, gutless meth is so much better. So here we go. We've got all four quarters, back straps, tenderloins, flank meat, brisket, all off. The only thing we need to work on is a little bit more of the neck meat. Let me just show you what I'm doing. All you, I mean, it's just, it's probably self-explanatory. All you're doing is just cutting down in between it. You can see how thin on this bull it is. Bigger bulls uh, will be a lot thicker, but there is um, good meat in there. This one's got a little dirt on it, but. So yeah, if you want to take the rib meat, by all means, go. Take, every, take everything that you can. Just stick your, in this case, you got the chest cavity there. Just stick your knife down in and just cut in, in between all the way to the bottom. Round off the bottom, boom. Boom. So yeah, there's, on a little bowl, there's, or a small bowl, they're not, I mean, look at that. You can see it's, it, there's not just a lot there, but. And obviously all that ends up becoming burger, but. As you get further back, you've got wider gaps there, so you get a little bit more meat. I was just trying to get off a little bit there. Make sure you push down and don't puncture that stomach. We can hold off on that. I'm gonna just take about the top half. I don't wanna, she's starting to get a little swollen. I don't wanna puncture that. You can see that stomach pushing up in there, so I just gotta be careful. bigger and bigger as we go further back. Huh? Mm -hmm. yeah. And the easiest way to do that is just take this hide all the way up to the base of the skull. We'll cut around that and we can just, you just pop it right off. So in that case, we are gonna go ahead and remove as much mane as possible and cut it off and cut around it. Um, but what I've done, so I'm just gonna, that's all I'm gonna do here. I'm at, you can kind of see I'm right here at his throat uh, base of the skull here. I just I'm just gonna go around and just start Taking this mane off and again. I'm cutting from the inside and working my way out it, You're gonna get hair on some stuff, but that's fine. It can wash off But again, I'm gonna go from the inside and work my way out So that way I keep the blade on my knife. The other thing this is gonna do is gonna free up all of this neck meat. All right 
And if you wanted to, you could just cape this whole thing out and just take the skull, since we're gonna be able to take this back to camp and, and we'll be able to, to take care of everything right there, then and there. It's better shade, a little cleaner environment, stand up in the back of the tree, whatever. So, so I'm just gonna keep flaying this back off and take this completely off. Obviously, the bigger the, or more mature the bull, the more neck meat that they're gonna have, and that makes awesome, awesome burger. So I re highly recommend you take as much neck meat as you possibly can, not only just to make sure you're utilizing as much as the animal, but my gosh, you got a pile of good meat there. All right, and we'll, we'll roll them over and, and finish that other side, but for now, this gives me access to some of the meat. So on either side of the trachea, You've got this big cord. I just grab that. Cut right down through it. Right along it. It's very similar to the back strap where you'll find a natural seam right there. Let's take that right off. chunk obviously you got this big chunk and I do there's some people that will uh, just go right down to the spine and, and try to just fillet the whole thing I just take the muscle groups off I don't know it saves my knife and it's just easier for me I don't know if that makes me lazy or smart I don't know we'll find out but I usually just take the groups off and you don't have to be pretty this is all just gonna go in a grinder anyway